Hey guys, this is I Will Try, my name is Sebastian and today I want to play a game. So today we are at the Museum für Naturkunde or Natural History Museum of Berlin. With about 30 million objects and uh, the total visitor count, it is considered the biggest museum for natural history in the whole of Germany. Today I'm going to show you some of the wonderful objects of the exhibition. I'm going to tell you three facts. However, it's not really three facts because I only tell you two true facts and one is a lie. If you can spot the lie, you can uh, win yourself free admission for two for the museum. So, what are we waiting for? And we'll start right here. Behind me is the world famous Brachiosaurus skeleton. And uh, the three facts would be Number one, it is actually the highest and largest specimen of this kind ever assembled in the world. Number two, the, uh, the skull that you can see in front is actually its own skull when it was about 10 years old. And the skull that is mounted is its actual skull that it had when it was fully grown, so when it died. So that one is a bit bigger. And number three... I actually forgot about number three. Hang on. Oh yeah, so, number three... It actually has 14 cervical vertebrae, just as much as an owl, for example. Or... The Harpy Eagle. It is considered the most powerful of all eagles in the world. And it has been seen killing and feeding on deer that can reach up to 30 kilograms in weight. The harpy eagle is seen in its uh, habitat, in its natural habitat in Africa, by some African tribes as a kind of godlike creature. And they even sacrifice pigs and chicken to their, uh, to their god, basically, the harpy eagle. And number three, it is not uncommon for squirrel monkeys that these guys feed on to just let themselves drop out of the canopy when they see a harpy eagle arrive because the chances are still better hitting the ground than being snatched by one of these guys. Now here we have a live animal for a change. It's a lungfish and uh, my three facts here would be number one, the lungfish holds the world record in size of genome for animals. So a lungfish is actually the one species that has the largest genome of all known animals up to this date. Number two, when kept outside of water, the pectoral fins, the tiny ones in the front, actually grow stronger and grow bones in order to support all the weight of the animal. And number three, if kept underwater, the lungfish actually can drown. Right now I'd like to introduce you to the resident panda who is called Bao Bao. The three facts for uh, this beautiful creature here, Bao Bao, would be this one. Number one, uh, pandas eat bamboo and only that. And because of this and because of the fact that bamboo doesn't have really many nutrients in it, uh, panda, pandas have to feed on bamboo all the time when they're awake. Basically throughout the whole day, just eat bamboo in order to cover their nutrient intake. Number two is, when being born, pandas feature a tail which is actually one third the length of the body of the panda. And number three is, pandas sometimes pee while sporting a handstand. I don't know what to do with those kind of information. Right, this is the world famous Archaeopteryx specimen. Here are the three facts. Number one, all found Archaeopteryx specimens so far are Germans in the term that they have all been found in the era that is known uh, today as Germany. Number two is the original founder or the discoverer of this exact specimen here. Just uh, he swapped the discovery for a goat to another person who then sold it for a fortune. And number three is there's actually a Harlem specimen, straight out of Harlem, if you will. This one you might know, he's called Knut, or Cute Knut, as he was dubbed by the media. He sparked worldwide media attention, but died aged only six. That would be my first thing. Fact number two is, he actually was featured on the front cover of Vanity Fair magazine. And fact number three is, he actually belonged to another zoo who had dips on him. However, after uh, the Berlin Zoo, where he was born and raised, 
offered to pay about $480,000 in compensation, the other zoo dropped the issue. Alright, that wasn't so hard, was it? Um, in order to win those two tickets for the museum, it's uh, very simple what you have to do. You have to uh, note down the letter for the object, then the number of the lie, one, two or three, where the lie was, and then just post it down there in the comments or put it on Facebook, which is then uh, facebook.com slash I will try videos. The winner will be chosen by random in five days. So uh, everybody who has submitted their answer until then is eligible to win these uh, two tickets. So I wish you good luck, have fun, and I'll see you guys next week on I Will Try. Bye-bye. Um, guys? Hello?